My name is Janice Levenhagen Seeley. I'm the founder and CEO of Chick Tech. Chick Tech is a international organization. Our mission is basically to get and keep girls and women in high tech. Chick Tech is about six and a half years old. Uh, so I created Chick Tech based on my experiences as a woman who went into computer engineering as an undergrad. Um, I dealt with a lot of sexual harassment and discrimination and imposter syndrome, and I ended up leaving shortly after I got my degree. Uh, so I went back and got my MBA, ended up volunteering later for a a uh, nonprofit who was working to get minority youth into tech, and um, I was so excited by the potential, and I was so excited to have a way that I could fix the uh, the issues that I saw in technology when I was there, and to make it not only a better experience for myself, but make it a better experience for so many other people everywhere. I'm actually in the middle of writing up our five-year strategic plan summary. So uh, that's what I was doing this morning. So that's definitely on my mind right now. Uh, we're really looking at you know this fiscal year, um, working on solidifying and stabilizing our current programs in the U.S. and Canada, and continuing to expand those, but really preparing to go international. So our goal has always been to be a global community of people lifting women and girls up. And uh, we believe that we're ready and we're super excited to build an online community. We're excited to go into uh, other countries and build community there uh, so that in the end we're able to break down these uh, cultural barriers and geographic barriers so that women and girls can support each other no matter where they are. We work on both the pipeline side and the retention side, so we believe that both are equally important and that um, we, we can't choose one over the other. And because we're creating this multi-generational community, um, our, our programs work really well with each other as well. Uh, so on the pipeline side, we work to find high school girls who don't yet think of themselves as technologists but who have the aptitude to do well in it. So we have a year-long series of opportunities for the, those cohorts of between 50 and 150 girls. And they, um, they learn about careers in technology. They learn um, a lot of different tech skills from 3D printing to green energy to soft circuits and embedded programming to web programming. Um, it's all over, you know, looking at all the, the really cool careers that you can have and helping them to feel comfortable in those. Uh, we also have a college program for women in STEM. So that's something we just launched uh, earlier this year, which we're super excited about as well. Uh, we see that a lot of, just like I had when I was in college, we have, there's a lot of, um, a lot of issues in our, um, in our university system still where young women aren't supported and they feel, feel like they don't belong. Um, so we want to welcome them to our community, provide them with mentors, help them to get internships uh, so that when they graduate, they're ready and excited to get a really great job in technology. And then uh, we also, for adults, we have um, our ACTW conferences that we're running in seven different cities. Um, ACTW stands for Advancing the Careers of Technical Women and, uh, and then meetups in 24 of our different cities at this point. Uh, so again, the, the goal is really to build that community and sense of belonging for all so that even if they deal with various issues like, um, like sexual harassment or discrimination um, or the, the death by a thousand cuts, that they have people who they feel have their backs so that when they, uh, they can fight back against those and they can say, I will go to HR or I will tell that person that's not okay instead of choosing to leave because they feel like they don't have any other choice. In the next five years, our goal is to be in 140 locations and 40 different countries. Uh, so that's a that's a huge one. Um, my vision is that a uh, girl in rural Kansas can be mentored by a woman programmer in Kenya and see her as another equal, not as other, and be able to empathize and understand that we're all in this together. Um, so. Uh, we have our global online community that we're going to start working on in about nine months with uh, global strategic partners. Uh, so that's huge. Uh, so it's not just connecting all of Chick Tech so that we can have this amazing global Chick Tech community, 
but we want to create this amazing inclusive community that is um, that includes all of the other organizations and movements who are working on the same, uh, basically the same mission as us throughout the world. Uh, so we want to be able to work with them to pull all of us together and so that a woman from Woman Who Code Tokyo can be on this platform and proudly display herself as a Woman Who Code Tokyo um, member and be able to tell people about the events, be able to let people know what the different opportunities are and also be able to see other opportunities around her so much more easily than she currently can. Um, and then I have a new idea that I've been working on called Equitable Tech Alliances. So I want to um, personally move to various countries and work with um, leaders in the tech industry and in the women in tech and girl in tech movements in those areas to create these alliances where um, we're all sharing best practices, we're all working together to choose um, where funding should go, and really just capitalizing on all of our strengths in each of those, the, those countries or those cities so that we can make so much more difference together. Because with Chick Tech, we've found that what we do really well is we build bridges and we build communities and if we can do that globally with all of the amazing people and organizations and companies that are out there who are just looking for ways to work together we can make huge strides for women and girls right now in the u.s and canada we our programs are really solid and well documented you can come in you can if there's not a chapter in your local area uh, we're always looking for people to start chapters, whether it's in their uh, college or university or um, in their city or in their rural regional area. Um, if there's one there already, we're always looking for more volunteers because the more people that we have, the more impact we can have. So right now with Chick Tech, we have a pretty small staff, but we have 1,500 volunteers across uh, across North America. and. Um, Whenever we want to do more programs, I'm like, well, we'll have to get you know another hundred volunteers, and we'll make this happen. Uh, and so we're very, we're a very flat organization, and it's very important to us that our community, which is our volunteers, our participants, everyone has a say in what we do. And so if people are looking for something that they can help own and drive forward, this is really the the place for them. We really look for not just um, technical women, but we really welcome. First of all, people of all genders to volunteer with us. And then we also welcome people of all backgrounds. So often, it's not even the technical skills we're missing when we're, when we're working on running a chapter. It's somebody with program management or project management skills or, or those marketing skills or um, uh, logistics skills. You know, So it's, it really takes a community to make these differences. If you go to chicktech.org, um, you can see all of our various programs that we're working on um, on there. And then if you're wondering if there's a chapter uh, near you or in your city, you can go to uh, chicktech.org slash locations. And we've got a nice fancy little map and you can, you can click around on there and you can always email us at info at chicktech.org. Um, if you're wanting to know more information about anything that we're working on and we'll either direct you to the right person or just give you all the info.